Texas lawmakers want to know how the rapid decline of pollinators, including bees, is impacting the state's agricultural production and economy. They're worried about some insects as well, like the monarch butterfly. Its population has dropped 90% over the last two decades. Texan Steffi Lee looks at efforts to measure the impact that's having and hopefully turn it around. Monarch butterflies have one of the most amazing migrations of any animal on this planet. Monarch butterflies need plants to survive as they travel from Mexico up through the U.S., then back down in the fall. Experts say they're currently under a threat. One of the thoughts behind that is that they don't have enough nectar to make the journey. That's where the Lady Bird Johnson Wildflower Center plays a role. This one is called um, butterfly weed, commonly. Growing milkweeds and plants in their nectar garden provides monarch butterflies the energy they need for their migrations. So these we will we'll put into our frames. Walter Schumacher is also trying to save honeybees, critical for food crop production. Because without them, people would start eating people again because there wouldn't be enough protein animals left on this planet. He says honeybees should be rescued and relocated rather than exterminated. Honeybees, as much as gasoline or fossil fuels, uh, are a natural resource. And so they should be treated like a natural resource instead of, oh, that's a nuisance, that's a problem. State lawmakers will examine that economic impact closely. In the meantime, Texans can create the habitats monarch butterflies need. There are plenty of yards, there are plenty of parks, there are plenty of ranches and open spaces that we can connect together. Two different populations, depending on human habits to survive. Steffi Lee, KXAN News. The Wildflower Center hosts plant sales specifically aimed at providing habitat and wildlife and for wildlife rather and water rest conservation. The next sale is October 12th and 13th.